On today's show, we have Eric Chan, the CEO of Injective Labs. Injective is a fully decentralized exchange that aims to unify the best from decentralized and centralized exchanges into a unique platform. What was the initial problem you guys set out to solve? I personally started off being in a cross-section of cryptography research and also trading plus investing back in the day. And really one of the major pain points trying to interact with the crypto space was dealing with all of the exchanges in their infancy stages who not necessarily have the best setup for APIs or might have a lot of unfair practices. And so one of the ideas we had when we stumbled upon, you know, like a paper written by some of the professors uh, that I was working with was about, you know, removing front running and collision within a decentralized exchange space. And so I thought that this could be something extremely innovative and kind of got into the drawing board after that because, you know, as a user, as a trader, I certainly have a lot of complaints, especially when it comes to, you know, back in the day, like whitelist IPs, you know, censorships and also, you know, unfair practices. And I was really excited to, you know, build something that's decentralized, just like the digital asset space itself. So uh, Injective Lab is mainly a software development firm. It works on a lot of really interesting open source projects. Obviously, you know, it has a specific focus on you know, contributing to the Injective ecosystem, whether that be core development proposals and in general, working with the stakeholders of the network. So currently, Injective is a very, very decentralized and diverse community with a lot of different interests. And Injective Labs' role is to make the proper software contributions uh, and upgrades to make sure that the network can satisfy everyone's needs. Currently, how many people are heading up the team and kind of managing all this? So currently, there's around 45 people over at Injective Labs spread uh, across all over the world. I think most of the folks um, it does have an HQ in New York, but half of the people are all over the world. I think everyone on the Injective Labs team are absolutely uh, amazing, to say the least. First of all, you know, there's my co-founder of Injective Labs uh, and CTO, Albert, who used to be at Amazon and opened Zeppelin and decided to join with me on the journey pretty early on. On top of that, we have quite a few, you know, very impressive arm heads or like leads, such as uh, Mirza, which is our BD lead, Maxim, which is our financial market lead, who managed to come up with a lot of really interesting financial modeling and strategies when it comes to evaluating which markets and what type of uh, mechanism for the core derivatives and spot mechanisms. And on top of that, there's, you know, product lead, which is Chris, and many, many more. Have you guys done any raises from any notable VCs in the past? Can you tell us more about your funding rounds? Yeah, there's been a few. I think currently uh, the major backers to date, or the most notable ones would be, you know, Binance, Pantera, and also Mark Cuban. Awesome. So <laughs> was that any type of strategic move on your part to bring Mark Cuban in or? Yeah, I think he just uh, liked what we were working on. And um, he certainly has a character and made quite a bit of a name for himself in the space. So I figured I just uh, brought him up. Who are your closest competitors? And then what makes your edge different? I would say that, you know, like the problem folks at Injective Labs and the overall Injective ecosystem is trying to tackle is quite unique in the sense that, you know, it's a application focused or kind of like application specific chain that has a very native on-chain order book infrastructure along with a derivative infrastructure that can create all types of uh, financial instruments. And that's, you know, like very, very unique amongst all the participants in the space. And so how does Injective generate revenue? Yeah, in terms of lab, it's really about contributions and grants from like different foundations and so forth. For the ecosystem, it's really about, uh, you know, the fees and the transaction fees and the gas fees and so forth. And I think that's driving a lot of value. In terms of on-chain mechanics, there's also a really interesting component where in order to prevent manipulative behaviors, you know, a fee has to be uh, charged on top of uh, every single trade. But in order for that to be distributed in a fair way, there's actually an ongoing weekly auction process where all the fee that went into an auction pool can be bought, essentially, by using the native token IJ. And this way, the proceeds will go to the highest bidder and the native token will simply be burnt to kind of counteract the inflationary force from the validators. What applications are people currently building on Injective? Yeah, there's actually quite a few interesting projects, you know, mainly at the moment surrounding uh, the exchange aspect and also, you know, what is enabled by having an on-chain order book and an on-chain mechanism. First of all, you know, like there's Injective Pro, which is developed by Injective Labs, which is kind of a standard professional interface where people can access uh, the breadth features offered by the Injective chain. And it takes a pretty non-impediated way in terms of 
conveying the information and making sure that the experience is as seamless as possible. But on top of that, you know, people can make a lot of really interesting twists and uh, takes on the, this user experience, one of which is uh, Picasso, where they basically took this entire infrastructure and turned it into a swap interface, so it abstracts away a lot of complications while getting far superior slippage and also capital efficiency for a lot of the swapping needs like most of the DeFi users are used to. And on top of that, there's also quite a few, for example, FrontRunner, which is focusing on utilizing this infrastructure to build a sports betting and prediction market platform for people to be able to trade uh, binary options and expiry futures. How does the INJ token play a role in the ecosystem? I think it's you know similar to any type of layer one. It's uh, the one that secures the overall network. And on top of that, serve as you know, very, very important functions in all different parts of the blockchain. So first of all, you know, like there are a component where basically users of the exchange module can receive fee discount for staking the native token. And on top of that, you know, there's an auction and burn mechanism, and there's also a native gas that people have to use to pay for transactions uh, for any type of non-exchange related transactions. And on top of that, all the applications and all the market creation process also involves the native token utilization. Got it. Is there any incentives directly to the existing token holders? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like obviously, you know, by being a delegator and delegating to the trusted validator or validator that you support, you can earn 12% or so APY and rewards net of the commission fee and generally ranges from 1% to you know 10%. And on top of that, by being an active participant within the uh, exchange platform, and also by being an active participant with the Relayer, there are also different types of targeted incentives for people to you know, potentially receive the native token or receive some other type of uh, rewards as well. And one of the most interesting one at the moment would be you know, the DMM program, which means that if you're a top 10 contributor to, of liquidity on a platform, you get to re- be rewarded with a pretty sizable uh, protocol incentive. And you know, just by being an active individual user, there's also an incentive see- a scheme that's fully on-chain that comes with it. And so what do you see as the next steps for Injective and how are you guys expanding and growing? I think the goal of an Injective Labs team is to make the right contribution to help the community fully utilize what's possible and what's uh, utilizable uh, on top of the Injective network. And one of which, and I, and I would say the most exciting part, is integrating the Cosmosm contract layer. And so that means that basically anyone can create a native smart contract that's uh, written in Rust, that's Cosmosm compatible, and really interact with the overall protocol at a very, very fast speed in a very, very efficient manner. And the possibility behind that is uh, limitless because that could enable smart orders. It can enable you know, an entire ecosystem for an on-chain market-making strategy, for example, that you know, most of these uh, billion-dollar prop shops and hedge funds use. Or it could be like a completely new uh, DeFi ecosystem because of the orbital infrastructure that wasn't possible or even thought of on the Ethereum DeFi ecosystem. So you know, if users want to test out using the interface, I mean, what are the things that they could go and do right now and how would they do that? Yeah, I would say, you know, like the first ground for people to check it out, you know, like learn more about the chain would be Injective.com. And, you know, in terms of some like more application level, there's always, you know, a, a wide range of exchange applications that are currently already live on top of Injective. I, I think, you know, the one developed by Injective Labs is called Injective.exchange. And that's kind of like a standard, you know, like unopinionated showcase of the features of the exchange module. And the users can almost enjoy the experience like they were on a centralized platform without even realizing that every single part of the interaction and every single transaction is fully decentralized. And for everybody who would like to either maybe follow you on Twitter or learn more about your website, break that that information down again for us, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, My Twitter is Eric Injective and um, the official Twitter for Injective Labs is, well, at Injective Labs. (laughs) 